today we're going to look at allowable tax deductions and net income. Um, so if we look up this box up here, we have a few things which we want to have a look at. Now we've got taxable income is equal to our gross income minus our allowable tax deductions. So your gross income is equal to your total income before anything else. It is the total amount of money that you receive from any source. Allowable tax deductions are things that you're allowed to claim to reduce the amount of tax you pay. So we have a look at this first example, calculating allowable tax deductions. So Riley works as an information technology consultant. He's entitled to the following deductions. What is Riley's total allowable tax deductions? So to get them, we're just going to add them up. So the total tax deduction is going to be equal to all of those sums up there. Equipment costs of twelve sixty plus car expenses of a thousand and sixty plus he's got professional learning at nine eighty five. He's got union fees of six fifty. He's got charity donations of two fifty. And he's got a tax agent fee of two twelve. So you can claim the amount of money it costs you to get your tax done from the year before on the next year's tax uh, return. So adding all those up, if you put them in your calculator, you simply get $4,417. That is the total amount of tax deductions allowable ones that Riley has. The next thing is looking at um, a rate, looking at the same sort of thing as commission and royalties. We're using a rate for a tax deduction for a car. Now the way that worked out is it's worked, you get a certain amount of money per kilometre on every kilometre you use your car. So Avery's used her own car for a total of 7,900 kilometres. Now it says that her tax deduction, she's entitled to claim 70 cents per kilometre. Now when we write this down, we're not going to write it down as cents because when we calculate it, it's going to come out, we want it to come out in dollars. So we're going to say the rate is 0 0.7 dollars. 70 cents, 0 0.7 dollars per kilometer. So her deduction is going to be equal to the number of kilometers, the total, times the rate which is 0 0.7 and we're going to get a, a deduction of $5,530. Okay, moving on, calculating taxable income. So we're calculating how much money we are going to pay tax on. So Emily's a journalist with a gross annual salary of 87620 She's also made $560 from her share portfolio, so they're both income. And she, she's received $7,320 in royalties. If Emily has tax deductions totaling $6,472, calculate the taxable income. So taxable income is going to be equal to total income or gross income minus our total deductions or allowable deductions. So in this case, we put them in brackets. We've got 87,620. We've also got 5680 and we've got 7320. So they're all our income and our deductions. We've only got 16472. Again, put that in your calculator and it comes out to be $94,148. Now, next example, calculating taxable income, is Nicole is a scientist. She earns a gross weekly pay of $16.24. So that's per week. She has allowable tax deductions of $8 per week for dry cleaning. And then we've got $60 for work-related travel per year. $460 per year for union fees and she made donations to charities of $620 throughout the year. So our first question is, what is Nicole's gross yearly salary? 
So she's got a weekly pay, so yearly salary is going to be her weekly pay, weekly salary times 52 for 52 weeks in a year. If you throw that into our calculator, we are going to get, sorry, if we put it in first, we've got 16, 24 times 52, which is equal to 84,448. So that's a gross yearly salary. The next question that's got for me is what is Nicole's total tax total allowable tax deduction? So the first thing she's got is eight dollars per week. So that is dry cleaning. So these are our total deductions. dry cleaning you want to work it out per year so it's going to be 8 times 52 equals $416 a year for dry cleaning and our other expenses already on in yearly we've got travel is equal to $60 a year and we've got union fees they're equal to $460 a year and then we finally we have donations and they're equal to $620 a year So our total is just adding them up. Uh, 416 plus 60 plus 460 plus 620 is equal to 1556 per year. Let me look at the last question C. Calculate her taxable income. So remember our taxable income. Do I use the right terminology this time? Is equal to our gross income, which is all of our income, minus the total deductions or the allowable deductions. I'll write that minus allowable deductions. So that, in this case, is equal to 84, sorry, we are, um, just let me check, gross weekly pay, yep, that's it, that's all she's got, so she's got a salary, 84,000, four, four, eight, minus, one, five, five, six, is equal to, 82 dollars per year. All right, moving on. Now, this next bit is from a different textbook, as we can see. Um, what we've got is it's got a table showing health insurance costs. And it's telling us the 30% rebate has already been deducted from these premiums. So what that means is that the government actually gives a rebate back to anybody who takes out private health insurance. But instead of giving that rebate directly to people, so instead of people having to spend the money first and then claim 30% back from the government, the government allows for um, health funds to just claim that money directly from the government. So they charge somebody 70% and they grab 30% from the government. Okay, so what we can see is we've got all of our, this is our hospital cover. It tells us we've got top hospital, we've got intermediate, we've got basic, and then um, what uh, these numbers in here are our excess. So excess is the amount of money we pay before they um, will pay any money. So what that means is that if I go to hospital for this one, and um, I get charged $1,000, I have to pay $250 first before 
they will refund me the 750 left. So that's what an excess is. You've got on all sorts of things of insurance. Um, it's the money that you have to pay yourself out of your own pocket before the insurance company will pay out. Obviously, what that does is it stops us from, or stops people from um, making claims on all sorts of things if they have to, in the first place, pay money out of pocket. Okay. So an example, uh, Jenny single, she takes out top hospital cover with no excess and pays her premium in advance, find her annual cost. So we're after in the, in the table, top hospital cover, right up the top, top hospital cover, no excess. That's it, right up the top. She pays a premium in advance. Here's her advancing premium. We want the annual cost. So what we're after is this one here. We go across on that row, down in that column, and we can simply write the answer in here, 1310. We should say um, Jenny's annual cost is... Three to ten, ten, rather than just throwing a number down there. Okay, looking at superannuation. So as it says in our box, it's a way of saving for retirement. Now, employers have to contribute a base rate of nine point five percent. Now, this next bit is relatively important um, to pay attention to, which is that uh, they. Pay, contribute a base rate of 9.5% of an employee's normal income. So that's how much they pay. They pay directly into the employee's specified super account fund as an extra payment above the employee's income. So it's added on top of the employee's income. It's not deducted from the employer's income. So when we're doing future um, questions, if they're t telling us that um, the, the employer is paying the superannuation, we're not deducting it from the employee's income. All right, so looking at this example, poor earns $56,092 per annum. Um, so let's just write that down. Earnings are equal to 56 092 per year. His employer plays superannuation of 9.5% on his behalf. So that's the employer. Paul contributes 4% himself. Now, the bit that Paul contributes is coming off his salary. He chooses to send 4% of his salary um, to superannuation. That will come off he, the, the amount of money that is paid to him. So, how much superannuation is paid on, to Paul's behalf by his employer? So for A, remember what we've got here, this is a percentage of an amount. So the superannuation employer, superannuation, employer super, is equal to his um, gross salary, so his um, salary, times the percent, times that 9.5%. So if we throw that in, we've got 56092 by 9.5, and we're going to turn our percent mark into divided by 100. Virtually every time we see that in these problems. That is going to give us, if we put in our calculator, 5,328 and 74. Okay, so next is um, B. How much does Paul contribute himself? So Paul's contribution, again, it's our salary by the percentage that he puts in by 4%. So once again, we're going to have 56092 by 4 divided by 100. And throwing that into our calculator, it has come out to be $2,243.68. Okay, so that's how much he contributes himself. So now it's asked us for what's Paul's income. 
miners his superannuation. So his original um, income was 56092 is paying in 2,243.68. So putting that again into the calculator comes out at 53,848.32 cents. Okay, so finally, I'll come up here for D. What is the total amount paid into poor superation fund per year? So his total is equal to the employee, employer, employer super, plus his, plus Paul's super. So that is going to be equal to, uh, where's Paul's super again, his contribution, yeah, employer super, sorry, is 5328.32. We're adding to that two two four three point six eight and that is giving us a total if you put that into our calculator if I can find it where I've written it down in my own book seven five seven two point four two okay so we'll come to our last example in this little section before I break the video and we'll have a look at um, this example calculating the annual net income after deductions are made again. So we've got the annual net income for employee gross is going to be um, so net net that's how much we get in our hand how much we get in our hand in the hand so to speak so gross is before any tax is taken out. Net is how much we end up with. So it's in here we've got union fees. So it's a, um, a deduction. We've got tax is going to be another deduction. We've got employee super contributions of 4% of his gross income. And we've got basic private health insurance with $500 in tax, which is paid yearly in advance. We're going to have to use our table for that. I haven't got much space here, um, but our gross income is going is equal to seven three nine two six. That's our only income. The rest are deductions. So if we go with our deductions, that might stick here. I might even do them in red. Deductions. We've got our union fees. Union fees of 276. We've got tax of 14521.89. Now, employee super contri uh, annuation contributions. 4% of his gross, so our employee super, so we'll just call that super, but we understand that it's our employee super, and we understand that it's extraordinarily annoying, so um, super, I shall refrain from making any comment. We'll need to be left-handed to write. There's one thing that left-handers might be better at. Right, my apologies. So, super is equal to, so our net in gross income, 7, 3. So we're going to be 7, 3. Nine two six times our percentage, which is four percent. So four divided by a hundred. I'm sorry for going to the right, but I need to squeeze it in. That is two thousand nine hundred 
and 57 and 4 cents. Okay, now our last one is this health insurance. So I'm just going to put health insurance up here first. And then we'll have to go back for our table. So what we're after is basic private single $500 excess paid yearly in advance. So we can remember all that. We had basic. Basic is basic there. We had um, $500 excess. So after this column, we were paying it in advance. Well, I think we were paying it yearly in advance. We are paying it uh, yearly in advance. So yearly in advance is in this column here. We're here. In this row, level two, $500 excess. And we're at paying it, say, for $762. So health insurance, 762. So our answer here, what is our net income? So our net income is net. Let's say magic pen that doesn't stay. Net is equal to the gross minus the deductions. Which is equal to seven three nine two six minus all of that stuff two seven six plus fourteen five two one eighty nine plus Two nine five seven point oh four plus seven sixty two. Again, I apologize for running out of space on the page. But if I do all that and I look at what I've done um, prior to this, I have got fifty five thousand four hundred nine and seven cents. Okay, so I'm going to take a break there in case you're going to do some exercises and then we'll come back and have a look at the next couple of uh, topics.